Onions make you cry, but this onion's about to make you laugh. Beep Mortician always keeps hammer at table side just in case one comes back to life. How's that ever happened? Like, I'm sure there's some kind of crazy story. And what are you gonna do? Murder them? <laughs> Shouldn't you give them assistance? Dr. Scholes introduces new amputation kit for dry, cracked feet, touting the product's ability to not only treat, but also prevent and remove the condition. I added the remove. Honestly, my left foot, I don't know what it is. I thought it was fungal. It's not really fungal. I thought it was like some kind of eczema thing. It could be, could be psoriasis. I got a dry, cracked feet on my foot. Patients impressed by how big baby has gotten after just 16 months of CrossFit. Whoa, that's a diesel baby. We covered this on Strangest addictions with the family, like they work out a lot. You know, some of it is really healthy, but sometimes it could be dangerous depending on the type of exercise and the age of the child. So you gotta be really careful and ask your doctor for guidance in this situation. Shortage of supplies forces surgeon to wear boxing gloves for the operation. Yes, this is gonna be me in the office one day. Boxing gloves would be terrible for the operating room. New study finds most premature births occur after fetus smells something delicious. <laughs> Outside, that's such a funny image. I don't think that's why premature births happen, but we could put together a study to find out. Imagine like you cook a really good pie and then the baby's like, oh, I gotta come out now. New Fisher Price doctor kit, just prescription pad and bottles of <laughs> This Fisher Price kit is severely lacking. We also prescribe other opioids besides fentanyl. That was a joke. Humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Dimensions phases into war-torn non-linear universe. I feel like this is headlined by Elon Musk himself. How do you treat an alien when you don't even know what's inside of them? Surgeon totally blanks on what he cut open patient for. <laughs> That's like surgeon says, oops, an operating room is the last thing you wanna hear. Now, why the hell did I make this giant slit again? <laughs> Said Mitchell of the six long transverse incision he made across his subject's abdomen. God, I hope this doesn't happen. The Onion's Guide to HIPAA. You know what's funny? I've been seeing a lot of these TikToks of people just yelling HIPAA. You cannot record me. That is against my HIPAA law. You're in a hardware store. <laughs> HIPAA doesn't apply here. What is HIPAA? The reason you have to sign up for some new website ending in portal every time you go to a different urgent care. Facts. What does it stand for? Health, Information, Portability, and Accountability Act. Is it health insurance or I think it's health insurance. <laughs> Centers for Disease Control let smallpox and rinder pest viruses out for daily hours. Exercise, oh my God, that sounds frightening. Someone needs to tell me what a rinder pest virus is. And if you know, I'm gonna be impressed. Jimmy Carter, already back to elite sumo wrestling circuit after recovering from his surgery. What is this image? I wanna learn more about sumo wrestling. Not because of Jimmy Carter, but because like it has a rich history. Hospital adds $20,000 scan that informs patient whether they have feet. <laughs> okay, this pokes at fun, at the fact that a lot of people order tests without any real purpose. You basically are just confirming that the patient in fact has bones. If you just felt the patient's anatomy and watched them walk and assess their gait, you would know the answer to that question. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm going on tour, Boston, Philly, Red Bank, New Jersey, and DC. Link down below, improv, comedy, games, audience participation. You're gonna have a blast, I guarantee. Get your tickets now, they're selling out quickly. All right, let's get back to it. Breakthrough procedure allows surgeons to transplant pig rib directly into human mouth. That's funny, because you could have the surgeon make like really nice cuts in it. That would be pretty tasty. Yeah. Exercising woman really starting to feel the burn of lifelong injury developing. Oh yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel some results from my repeated misuse of the treadmill and poor running techniques. Nothing funny about this because you cannot imagine how often this happens. Even one of my closest friends the other day pulled his psoas muscle really badly because he decided that it was cool to run at seven miles per hour on the treadmill on like a six incline for like five miles. That's not a smart play. At least do intervals where the treadmill goes up, goes down. Unless you're training for something very specific and you're gradually building up there, the body's not ready to handle that kind of load. It's not biomechanically friendly and it will cause pain. Man concerned that doctor wants to discuss test results at morgue rather than over the phone. Although he wasn't an expert, he had a bad feeling about the physician's insistence on going over his angiogram face to face while he was lying down on a stainless steel table in a facility full of dead bodies. If your doctor calls and asks you to have a conversation face to face at the morgue, that should raise red flags. Effective billboard has drivers suddenly craving to visit the hospital where first class care always comes first. I'm not gonna lie that the billboards that some hospitals, even ones that I've worked at before, are friggin' weird. I get what they're doing. They're trying to encourage 
patients to come in and get care and they're competing with other healthcare systems and all of that. I hope what happens is patients are alerted to the fact that they have a facility near them where they can get care in case of necessity. Conor McGregor undergoes three hours of surgery to repair fractured ego. Oh my God. That last injury was the definition of a fractured ego. You could see by the way he acted out in the octagon after the fact. Poor, poor, poor class, poor sportsmanship in my eyes. Neurosurgeon holds spinal cord between teeth to free up hands while performing delicate incision. That's the worst Photoshop job I think I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and accurately debunk why this is not good. A, if you've removed the patient's entire spine, probably not compatible with living unless it's a very unique situation. If you're gonna put the spine back, putting it in your mouth, which is potentially the dirtiest, meaning most bacteria rich filled area of your body, probably don't wanna put back into the patient. New Hanes shapewear compresses women into flattering trapezoids. <laughs> I don't understand. Is this like a play on Spanx? Mm -hmm. Eight and a half month old fetus could really get used to this. Man, I gotta tell, tell you, this is the life, said the 37 week fetus. I'm as snug as a bug in a rug here, but I've still got enough room to turn a full 180 degrees. Plus there's this super fun umbilical cord I can play with or wear as a necklace. Don't wear it as a necklace. It's a big problem, baby. Or fetus. Gwyneth Paltrow, uh-oh, the goop is coming. Gwyneth Paltrow introduced a new diamond-encrusted trepanation drill and drainage bucket on her website. With just a few cranks, this elegant stainless steel drill can pierce through the thickest part of your cranial bone in seconds, leading to instant relief from evil demons, ghosts, and spirits possessing the soul on the description of goop.com. They actually use drills like this in like the neuro ICU or a neurosurgery. But why Gwyneth Paltrow has anything to do with this is just like satanic to me. Woman puts off going to doctor until disease is bad enough for him to believe her. I'd love to get an appointment soon, but it's just easier if I show up sick enough to force his hand to actually give me the correct medical care. I wanna laugh, but it's more sad than anything. Doctors misunderstand women. And because they misunderstand women, they end up not believing women. I think it's a, it's a issue of training and the lack of experience to working with a diverse pot patient population and you need to be able to be ready for it and adjust and be able to communicate with all different types of patients. Doctors recommend getting eight centuries of cryo sleep. This could be a headline from the future or it could be a headline for these biohackers. And boy, have these biohackers gotten on my nerves. Make sure to forego caffeine and silence your phone before replacing your blood with medical grade antifreeze. There's some good advice here, like foregoing caffeine, good advice. Getting your phone out of the room, good advice. And the number one sleep thing that I tell people all the time, no more than 15, 20 minutes of trying to fall asleep in bed. Otherwise, get out of the bed. Go try and fall asleep on the couch, read a book, because the more you struggle in bed, the more you associate all those negative feelings and that anxiety with the bed, as opposed to getting tired elsewhere and wanting and craving your bed. So the moment you touch, you can fall asleep into a soundful. <laughs> CDC unveils list of Twitter accounts you can follow to piece together vaccine information. Following these reporters, medical researchers, and politically engaged musicians <laughs> will provide the updates necessary to cobble together some sense of what exactly is going on with our vaccine rollout. This is probably the most accurate Onion article we're gonna see because I feel like the CDC is an amazing organization, rich with brilliant individuals, but somehow they fail to consider the importance of a proper communications department. When certain decisions are made, give the reasoning for why those decisions are made. If they change, explain the, re the reasons for the change. And when you ask people to do their own research, it's gonna lead them to go onto Facebook and see all these crazy things that maybe some of their friends are posting. Do you know what detox teas do to your health? Click here to find out. As always, stay happy and healthy. I'm really curious what you think about this video, because in it, I tell the honest truth. Not just the truth, the honest truth.